Hello there, welcome to my bench once again. In this tutorial, I'm going to tie you up, uh, seeing though it's that time for terrestrials, I'm going to tie you up a very simple foam ant. It's made using uh, extra small foam cylinders, black foam cylinders. And I decided to give this little guy a tie for you this time, so we'll get him a device, a fresh hook in, and I'll get started here. For the hook, I'm using Normally the time is smaller, but I'm tying it on a size 12 dry hook, so it's better for you to see. So we'll clamp that in the vise here, number 12, must head 94840. And I'm just going to grab a foam cylinder here. Okay. And the thread of choice is Danville 6 op Black. So we're going to start our thread about almost in the center of the shank and we're going to wrap back make a little thread base here to about the point of the hook and we'll come in and snip off our tag end here like so and we're going to come back halfway onto that thread base that'll be our tie-in point so I'm going to take my little foam cylinder here and we're going to tie him in and we want to put halfway on the cylinder and halfway on your thread base and we'll snug that down and you want to wrap uh, back a ways because you want to have room or you're making a base more or less to wrap your hackle so we'll go back and then we'll go forward a ways onto that cylinder just like so and we've got a base to wrap our hackle onto okay and for the hackle it is simply black uh, and a saddle hackle Excuse me for a second. I just gotta grab a hackle here. Okay, I'm just using black, black saddle hackle here. So I'll find one here the size I want. Okay. Okay, that one should work fine. Pull him out. Okay, I'm going to snip him off. Prepare this hackle here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to tie him in. So we want to come in here and tie this hackle in. With the shiny side facing forward. And we'll tie him on the thread base that we put there. And we'll come in and snip off the excess. Good. Next, we're going to wrap our hackle. So we'll simply begin to wrap forward here. We'll make four to five wraps. One in front of the other. Okay, now we'll come up. I'm going to tie this guy off. Make one wrap behind there. Couple in front. Nice snug wraps. Snug it down good. And we're going to come in with our scissors and snip that hackle tip off. Just like so. Okay, next we're going to lift that front section of the foam up. We're going to make a few wraps forward here. Right before the eye. Then that'll form the head of our hand here. And we're going to come over that foam once again, come down the pinch wrap, a couple of more snug wraps, just like so. Then I'm going to come in with my whip finisher and make a four to five turn whip finish, just like so, here, right underneath that foam. And I'll come in, oops, I lost the end there, that's okay, I got it, there we go. Okay, now we're going to snip that tag end off. So we'll come back and we're going to trim our, the head of our ant here. Trim that off a bit. And also in the rear portion as well. And there we have it. So next thing I'm going to do is just turn her upside down here. And I'm going to put a little bit of thread wraps, or excuse me, head spin on those thread wraps here. Just a little drop along the 
wraps here. There we go. Okay, we'll turn him back right side up here. And there we have it. A very simple ant pattern. Black ant pattern. And effective little terrestrial fly. See if I can bring a little close up in here for you. There we go. So anyway, once again, I hope you enjoyed this fly tying tutorial. And if you can and you have the materials, you can tie this little ant up and give him a try. So thank you very much for watching. And if you're a new viewer, also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more in the future. I'd really appreciate that. And I want to <coughs> thank you so much for watching. So until next time. Happy tying everyone, signing up for now, so long for now folks.